gamma come go was the beginning of the integrations between schools out here and the schools outside of our community you know so and that education process has moved many of our students move on through to college and university and way beyond their to professional professionalism whatever choice they did make you know so all, all of that began around that era in the 50s. Councillor Lori Hockaday is proud to follow in her great aunt's footsteps. Her strength and wisdom always uh, touched me and uh, and my inspiration, this is my third term on council and a lot of the inspiration has, has come from our older leaders and Elsie as one. The names of the faces have been silenced and erased from history's recorded time and place as we step back through our ancestors' paths, through the womb, the tree holes, the rivers, 
the sacred fire, we find that the land and the people are one and the same, and that the spirit and blood of our ancestors are within us and shall never, never be die. I'm going home, going home, North Carolina is crying in my soul. Creator, I'm reaching out to you. Tell them on the other side that they are alive within my soul. Return their prayers that run through Return the land and heal her pain of hidden truth. Tell the world the blues where it comes from. I'm going home, going home. North Carolina is crying in my soul. Where the news river Under the earth, the Nasaruda nation was free. I hear Nigerian chains, they say are buried real deep. Tobacco fields, trail of tears, stolen people on stolen land. I'm going home.
Well, I, when I was 12 years old, I used to look after the the council hall for my dad. He was a caretaker, and while he was out hunting, I'd go and listen to the council me meetings. So in 1953, the Indian Act changed. Before that, the Indians, women, weren't allowed to vote or uh, run for office. In 54, the men asked me, why oh, don't you run for chief? And I thought it was a big joke. So I let my name stand um, to run for uh, chief. And, and I went in by a landslide. And I, did not, I didn't even know that I had made history. It was just, uh, I was so happy that the people had trust in me. I just had a grade eight education and uh, I had a lot to learn. But I was determined to do all I could for my reserve. We could only go to grade eight because the government wouldn't uh, provide funds for us to go to high school. I did everything to to uh, try to raise my three children. I picked berries, I caught minnows, and I cleaned um, summer resorts. I cooked and I did everything to try to put food on, food on the table for, on the table for my family. I was a chief for 16 years and I've been a counselor for 10 years. Being in politics and having dinner with the queen and nice house, had a car and the bus is paid off, built a store, got the post office. I was already involved in Boy Scouts, Girl Guides and all this and the Sunday school superintendent. God really um, filled my heart with love and uh, with uh, compassion for my own Indian people. She was always helping before that, like she was helping with uh, baseball and things going on in Curve Lake, like uh, the Homemakers Club and different in the church. So I guess maybe they saw that leadership quality in her and then they came and asked her to run. So she did. <laughs> and uh, she was really surprised when she went. After a while, she she was able to uh, get bigger buses because more children wanted to go. She drove the bus for over 30 years. She colored the hearse like a, a really light blue. And uh, she took the children, she put benches on the sides. <laughs> and then she took um, maybe about 10. Yeah, and then after a while she she was able to uh, get bigger buses because more children wanted to go. Wow. But she couldn't get a loan still for the at the bank, so the you know, uh, the Indian agent had this co-sign for her. So that was uh, she was she drove the bus for over thirty years. Mm -hmm.